Hello Blazers and Focus and today I've decided to make a video where for once I don't sit and rant about YouTube for 7 minutes. That's right guys, I'm gonna just sit back, relax and read some of your comments. But I'm not gonna be doing it like every YouTuber has ever done it, you know. Fucking every YouTuber at this point have made a video about them reading hate comments. And yet I'm not gonna be your typical self-aware YouTuber that would be like Alright guys, I already know that 25 million people have already made video about hate comments. What a bunch of fucking faggots, lol. Okay guys, I'm I'm gonna do it anyway now and read some of your hate comments. No, I'm not gonna be like that. Instead, I've decided to read some of your love comments, some of your beautiful comments, because every single video with hate comments is the same shit. You copy leave me and your videos suck? Haha, <laughs> this guy spelled you wrong. What a fucking retard. Oh, this guy has a my little pony profile picture. What a fucking faggot. Oh, you say I'm not funny, but you have an anime profile picture? What are you, fucking weeaboo? What are you, jerk off to your anime wife or pillow or something? What are you, what are you, faggot? <laughs> Guys, is it funny? Are you enjoying this roast I have there? I'm roasting these people so hard. No, I'm not gonna do that, guys. Let's go over some good, good comments that you guys leave. Because my fanbase is the best fanbase on YouTube. Your intro sounds like a Nigerian guy having an orgasm. Well, I agree. I like you. You're funny. OMG, man, you're hilarious. The way you trash Chris was gold. Your? Are these guys fucking retarded? They cannot even spell your. Shut the your? fuck up, autism gamer. Your turning into even more gay pirate cynical. Wait, none. I think he's worse. Uh, thank you very much for that compliment. I will print it out and frame it on my fucking wall. You're actually really good with the op. Like, damn. Uh, thank you very much for this compliment. I think this is like the first time somebody's ever told me I'm good at a fucking video game. Because every single video I make, there's a comment saying, Dude, you suck at this game, mate. Delete the game, mate, and throw the PC out of your window because you suck at the game. Every fucking video, there's a kid that thinks this is his deed for the day, right? This is his job. To go and tell me that I'm bad at fucking Call of Duty Global Offensive or some shit. Wh why? Why do you give a shit? Watch the video for the content, okay? Yes, I'm not like a MLG Pro Phase Optic fucking CSGO gamer, okay? All I do is these fucking rants about YouTube and I do them pretty well, so peace off, mate, okay? If you wanna see MLG plays, go and watch your fucking MLG Tournament 2017 or whatever you kids watch these days. Really liking your content, but the what up blazers and drop a motherfucking like are getting fucking annoying. Are you kidding me, mate? That's my thing, okay? That's the only thing I have that differentiates me from Liffy and Pyrocynical, because I'm a flat out copycat of both of them, right? What up blazers is my thing, dude. Like PewDiePie says, how's it going, bros? I have what up blazers. PewDiePie has the bro army, I have the blazer army. I actually want to build my blazer army so that one day we could all meet up and blaze one weed, mate. Wow, didn't you have 10,000 subs like a week ago, or am I crazy? Hell yeah, dude, of course, I had 10,000 subs a week ago, like in a week I've gained 160,000 subscribers actually. I'm growing so fast, it's believed that I'm gonna beat Leafy and PewDiePie next day, tomorrow. Keep, keep your eye for that, tomorrow I'm gonna get a million fucking subscribers. And yeah, in all seriousness, I wish it was like that, but it's not. I'm not getting that much views and that much new subscribers and that much new exposure. Could you like buy a different voice? Well, that's really rude, mate, because I'm trying really hard to talk in your language, but... <clears throat> no, I cannot. There you go, there you go now. Fuck off! <laughs> but in all seriousness, though, I have no problem with YouTube comments. I love all the comments I get and every kind of feedback I can receive. I always appreciate your comments, but I don't agree with people who say that the YouTube comments are total cancer, because they're not that bad. But there are definitely two major issues I have to address. The first one is people replying to YouTuber comments. Now, this is a huge fucking problem for me as a YouTuber. Any fucking video, I leave a comment, you know, I wanna just share my thoughts, that's it. I just want to share my thoughts about the video like any other person on fucking YouTube. I leave a comment, right? For example here, a video about Portal 2. So I leave a comment saying, this soundtrack is so fucking perfect. What is the first reply I fucking see? You stopped being funny a year ago. Shut up, fag. Fuck off. So if you're a YouTuber, over one sub made, if you're a YouTuber and you leave a comment on other YouTubers video, you get always replies like, stop fucking commenting everywhere you fucking slut, you YouTube whore, you faggot, you stop promoting yourself everywhere. Uh, yeah, alright mate, like I really promoted myself, like how, how the fuck is this comment even promoting myself? I just left my thoughts on a video, like yeah of course people are gonna see this comment with over 1000 likes and of course this comment will instantly give me 100,000 subscribers. 
guaranteed. I just don't understand why people go out of the way to do this and they think that it's their fucking duty to reply to me. I mean, you gotta be a salty motherfucker to reply to people like this. The second issue I have with the YouTube comments is that how exploited it can be. Basically, the top comment system does not work like it used to be. Well, if you're a 90s kid, you remember how in the good old days we used to have only two top comments and they actually were there because they had a lot of likes. Well, the way it works now is that it doesn't matter how much likes it has. I have an example of this in one of my videos, the autism alert one. Basically, if you reply to a comment exactly after it's been posted, it's gonna just fly to the top comments and get a lot of likes from that. It doesn't matter what comment it is. For example, there's this comment by Kisley that literally says OK. And because it's such a stupid comment, people started replying to it and it got up to the top. It has over 500 likes. Same here with the iDubs comment. It literally says cunts. And of course, iDubs, the legend, is a very popular YouTuber. So the replies started coming in almost instantly and basically got to the top just because there was a lot of people replying to it. The same thing with YouTuber, the upload that actually replying to people. For example, what I've learned is that if someone leaves a hate comment on your video you should never reply the reason for that is any comment that the uploader has replied at least once to it's definitely gonna fly up to the top comments so in the hate comment being at the very top it only gives the so-called troll that left it only more exposure and hate which is probably what he seeks for so if you're a content creator if you see a hate comment you should probably not reply because that is going to happen so basically this retarded system is just a fucking feast for like cause Alright guys, I think I'm gonna round off my video here. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed these tips and tricks from Nafakas on how to be cool and how to be safe on the YouTube comment space. And of course, make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed this because, this, you know, this is something new I'm trying. I really want to interact with you guys more, so smash that motherfucking like if you want me to make more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.